good morning students students uh, today our topic is decimals so we are starting a new unit that is decimal uh, before this uh, unit we already completed the unit fractions students as you all know fraction shows a part of a whole object same students decimal numbers represents the part of a whole number uh, for this let let, uh, let us consider few uh, decimal numbers uh, 2 upon 4 3 sorry 2.4 3.5 7.5 8.2 these all numbers are decimal numbers uh, students 2 upon 4 in this number 2 is a whole number and 0.4 shows a part of the next number same students 3.5 3 is a whole number 3 represents whole number and point five represents the half part of next number so 3.5 means three and half number suppose you want to write uh, we will run to want to write a number two and half in decimal form you can write this number 2.5 Next, if you want to write with, uh, number three and six part of next number, then we'll, in decimal form, we will write this number 3.6. Here, three, three is a whole number and 0.6 shows the sixth part of next number. So, uh, so that with the help of figures now in this figure this is divided in part one two three six seven eight nine and n and the uh, shaded part is one now write the fraction shaded part it will be uh, one upon ten fraction of shaded part is 1 upon 10. Now, convert this number in decimal form. So, decimal in, this is a numerator and this part is a denominator. In denominator, we have 1, 0. So, we will put decimal point of after one digit from right hand side. 1.0. So, 1 upon 10 in decimal form is written as 0 0.1. Same. Next figure is, it is divided into 10 equal parts and shaded parts are 3. So first we will write this, uh, write the fraction of shaded number. That is 3 upon 10. Now write as a decimal. It will be 0 0.3. In denominator, we have one zero. So put decimal point of one digit from right hand side. Three point, then zero. Next figure. This figure is divided into 100 equal parts. And only one part is shaded. Now write the fraction of uh, shaded part. It is 1 upon 100. Now write this number as decimal. In denominator, we have two zero. Now put zero, uh, sorry, put decimal point after two is it. But in numerator, we have only one number. So put a one, then decimal. Zero. So, in fraction number, we have 1 upon 100, and decimal form of this fraction number is 0 0.01. Same. Next is 
this figure is also divided into 100 equal parts and uh, our shaded portion is 10 20 30 40 43 shaded portion is 43 now write the fraction of uh, shaded part that is 43 upon 100 now write this fraction number as a decimal this is a numerator and this is a denominator in denominator we have two zeros so put decimal point after two numbers three four decimal see 43 upon 100 the decimal form of this number is 0 0.43 Next is, I will explain decimal numbers with the help of number line. Now, this point is zero, and this shows number one. This part shows number one. So, number one into ten equal parts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, next number is 2. Once again, divide this part into 10 equal parts. This portion uh, shows number 1. And this is 0 to 2. Now, uh, if it half number, only half number, then will this number exist? Now you can say 0 to 1. This is a number 1. Now we want only half part of this number. So half part will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this number shows half part. As fraction, we will write one upon two is half. In decimal form, we will write this number 0 0.5. There's zero, one, two, three, four, five. This number is 0 0.5. One point, if I if I if we want to show number 1.2, one full. One is a whole number and point two means two parts of next number. Zero point, uh, sorry, number is 1.2. Zero, one. One number full and point two, two parts of next number. That is one, two. So this part shows number one point two. Same, this shows number 1.4. In other words, we can see one a number which exists before decimal. It represents a whole number. And number which exists after decimal it shows the part of a next number. Number 2.5. It means two numbers full and half part of next number. Two and half. 2.5 shows two and half of number. Here, students. 
Now we will discuss few questions of uh, exercise 8.1. In exercise 8.1, your first question is, write each of the following deci number, decimal numbers in words. Your first number is 30.5. So write these numbers in words. First is 30.5 write these numbers in words first number is 30.5 next number is 0 0.03 0.03 Three. Next is 108.56. point If six next number is forty seven point two zero part six is five point zero zero eight and six push part is twenty six point zero three nine. So students, next three part you will solve and complete question number one in your notebooks. Now second question, write each of the following numbers in a place value table. According to the place value table, as you know, when we prepare a place value table for whole numbers, we will start from ones, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and ten thousand. These are whole numbers. So these, according to your place value, these numbers exist left, uh, right to left. Now our decimal numbers exist right to left to right. First decimal number will be tenths. Tenths. Next is hundreds. Next is thousand and so on. So friends, according to your place value chart, our whole number lies right to left and decimal numbers lies left to right. Whole number starts from ones. Decimal number start from tenths. According to the place value, our whole numbers are place value of whole numbers are ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, and decimal numbers are tenth, hundred, thousand. Now prepare 
a table i have already prepared the table of decimal numbers now blue portion sh shows the whole numbers and green part shows the decimal numbers this is ones tens hundred thousands and decimal numbers are tens hundred and thousands now second question your first part is write the decimal numbers in a place value chart your number is 4.2 now since as you know 4 is a whole number and 0.2 is a part of next number so we'll write 4 at one place and 2 on tenth place because this number exists after decimal 4 2 next is 0 point we'll write 0 at one place and 3 at tenth place Next, third number is 205.9. 205.5.0.2. Right, nine. Yeah. Next is 0.29. Right, zero at one place, two and nine. Green portion shows decimal numbers and the blue part shows whole numbers. 4.2, four at one place and two at tenth place. 0 0.3, zero at one place and three at tenth place. 205, 205, 502, 205, and 9 at 10th place. 0 0.29, 0, after decimal 2 and 9. So, students, same, you can complete second question which have seven parts. Next is third question. Third question is, write the following decimal decimal numbers in expanded form. So, how we can expand the decimal numbers? Your first number is 123.7. Now, friends, expand this number. First, we will expand this number, 123. 100. Plus 20 plus 3. 123. Now our next number is 0. 0.7. So plus 7 upon 10. Because 7 is the first digit after decimal. So expanded form of 123.7 is first we'll expand this number 123. 100 plus 20 plus 3 next is 0.7 7 upon 10 so this is the expanded form of 123.7 
Next is 43.06. Second part is 43.06. First one will expand 43, 40 plus 3. Next number is 0. Point, uh, sorry, plus 6. So, and 6 is us at 100th place. 100th place. So, we'll add 6 upon 100. Next is fourth question. Write each of the following as a decimal number. Now, fourth question, first part. Now, your number is 200 plus 60 plus 5 plus 3 upon. Ten. Now this number is already in expanded form. Now write the short form of this number. First, 200 plus 60 plus 5, 265. Next number is 3 upon 10, point 0.3. Next is second part of question number four is 50. Second part 50 plus 1 upon 10 plus 6 upon 100. The short form of this number is 50 then point. One six. Next is fourth, third part. Seventy plus six plus seven upon ten and nine upon one thousand. First, we'll write seven seventy plus six seventy six, then put seven seven upon ten. So we have one, uh, one zero in denominator, we'll put after one. Next is 9 upon 1000. So put here 0, then 9. Clear, friends? Next is question number fifth. Write each of the following number as decimals. Fifth question, first part. Question number fifth. And first part. Your first part is two ones and five tenths. Two ones 
and five tens. Two ones, two and five tens point five. So your number is two point five. Next is two tenths. And nine, sorry, two tens and nine tenths. Two tens once. Tens number will be twenty and nine tens point nine. So your number is twenty point nine. Next students, third number six hundred. Point eight. Very simple. Six hundred six hundred point eight. Six hundred point eight. Next is fourth part. Two. Two hundred five. Five. Hundreds. First number is two hundred five. So right, two hundred five and five hundreds point zero five ten hundred five hundred. Now fifth part. Seven and fifteen thousand. Seven and fifteen thousand. So number is seven and Fifteen thousands, tenth hundred thousand, fifteen thousand. Is seven one zero two. So write seven thousand one hundred two. Then put point three zero six. So first number is six. Question first part. First number is three thousand one hundred two point 
306. Next number is 211.902. The question number seventh. Uh, sorry, sixth. This is the question number six. Now, question number seven. Show the following decimal numbers on number line. Your first number is zero point four. For this, friends, prepare a number line. This part shows number one, two, and three, and each part is divided into ten equal parts. First number is your first number is zero point four. Zero point four. One, two, three, four. So this this number shows zero point four. Second number one point nine. One Point nine zero to one one then nine parts one two three four five six seven eight and nine so this number shows one point nine next is third part one point one. So zero one one point one. This number shows one point one. And last number is two point five. Two point five. Zero one two then point five. One two three four and five. Two point five. So, students, first we draw a number line and place number zero, one, two, and three. Now divide each number into ten equal parts. One to two. Divide these numbers into ten equal parts. Two to three. This number divided into ten equal parts. Then show these numbers: zero point four, zero, one, two, three, four. This number is zero point four. Next is one point nine, one and nine steps again. One point nine. This is one point one and two point five. Now, last question is question number eight in your book. Now, write the decimal number represented by a point A, B, C, and D. Now, this is your number line, and this is this point A, and this point is zero to one. 